Hi, I'm Jack from The Occasional Traveller and this is my review of the micro scooter luggage. In essence, it's a Samsung Cambit bag with a built-in micro scooter so you can use it to help you zip around the airport, which I thought was really innovative and cool so I brought it along with me to Osaka on a recent trip to see if it was really as practical as it seemed. It's quite well designed overall. It fits cabin specs and the luggage bit has a separate easy access compartment for your laptop and documents. The scooter bit is activated by the pull of a lever and changes from luggage to scooter and back again quite smoothly with just one pull. It takes some getting used to though and the scooter wheel can be a little bit annoying when it's up as it tends to rub against your leg. The fun bit of course is scooting around the airport. It glides like a dream on smooth floors and covers distances quite efficiently, but trying to navigate crowds in tight corners is hard as the steering is controlled by how you lean and it can't make sharp turns. Carpets also tend to slow it down some. I'm not a frequent scooter user, so it took me quite a while to get the hang of it from balancing, braking and steering, but super fun when you do get it and people tend to stare when you zip by. It's quite compact, but surprisingly, I managed to fit 5 days worth of clothing in here, though that's mostly dresses and no thick stuff. It was full going up though, so I had problems packing my shopping in on the way back, and you can't really pack too much with this as it's quite difficult to scoot around and pull another luggage along with you. It's a great idea for any traveller who's not a fan of walking, or just likes to be really efficient in getting from place to place. It's well designed, compact and easy to use, but it probably makes better sense for a solo traveller than one travelling with others unless the other guys also have a scooter luggage, or you end up having to wait for your friends to catch up with you. It's definitely a unique gift, but it's a tad pricey for the average traveller retailing in Singapore at $525. If you're interested in getting one, check out whiteandblacktrading.com or call 9321-1640 to find out more. Many thanks to Justina at White and Black Trading for hooking me up with the opportunity to test out the scooter luggage. And also my dear travel partner on this Osaka trip, Jens, who took most of these videos on our trip while pulling along her own luggage. So hope you guys enjoyed my first video review and I look forward to seeing more people zip around the airport in future.